So I want to walk you through what you just saw. You know, can you tell a story in 30 seconds? Can your characters go on a journey, solve a problem? That's what's happening here. Two characters, a woman and a man. First shot is of the woman, also establishes a location, a natural area. A man, okay, this is a, a, a bit of a strange shot, but it kind of works as an eye catcher. Are now joined together. So the sentence structure is a woman and a man walk together in nature. Now, other clues are being foreshadowed here, such as weather. You see the clouds that might be, yeah, that's probably a mountain back there. So you kind of get in three shots the formation of an idea in the viewer's mind. The next shot now follows those climbers, re going back to, again, the woman, and then through a POV shot. In other words, this over-the-shoulder framing following the woman. So she starts up, and then it follows her. So the camera follows her, but it also could be the viewer or it could be the man. So it creates some visual interest and visual energy, and it allows a three-hour journey to be compressed uh, with the right shots being put, used and put together. So the key is to know how to film them and then how you edit them. One of the other key shots here may not be obvious because it doesn't show any of the previously established characters. It does not show the man or the woman, but it does show clouds. And clouds was kind of a character element, you know, the atmospheric element that was introduced in an earlier shot. And this time lapse of the clouds coming suggests a little bit of danger, a little bit of tension, just a little bit of change, if you will. And it allows for that long climb up the mountain again to be compressed. So being able to tell a story in 30 seconds means knowing what shots you need to be able to compress time. And that is the power of visual reporting and visual reporting for film sequences. You see, I'm even showing these as static shots, as still frames, but it works, of course, when they're video or film as well. Then we pick up again the other character. So the other shot said clouds. Now it's man in clouds. Man was already previously established. We're getting closer to the top. And since you really can't photograph wind, you have to think about ways to photograph the effects of wind. And this shot is just more kind of a beauty shot. It's a slow motion shot that just lets one of the characters play with that environment. And the environment is established. The story ends with the climbers at the summit of the mountain. And, you know, it's really simple when you can see it all put together. The keys that to doing this are to anticipate shots, know how to introduce characters, locations, conflict, resolution, use neutral shots to help your editing be able to compress time, yeah, and be able to take your viewers on a journey. If you can do it in 30 seconds, you can do it in 30 minutes. Time doesn't become an issue at that point. But this is the fundamental skill, being able to report a visually led story.